if you have a classic car and you're actually going to drive it, sooner or later you're going to get something in your tires. You know, it's just a fact of life. But the problem comes in where, you know, classic car tires aren't usually available at every corner gas station or even tire store. So, you know, it's important to, you know, even if it's just to get you off the road or off the freeway, knowing how to plug a tire can, you know, save you a bunch of hassle later on. You know, it wasn't so long ago I had even a car on a car trailer and uh, suddenly I had a tire go down. And, you know, because it was a unique sized tire and rim and for whatever reason, uh, the spare tire wasn't loaded in the trailer. But uh, we did have a tire plug kit handy. We were able to take the tire off, plug it, take it up to the gas station, fill it up and get that back on the trailer and get back on the road. So this is a good skill to add to your arsenal of skills to keep your classic car going. And uh, in this car we've picked up, normally you can do this with the, with the tire still on the rim and we've picked up a screw and it's actually worn off the top of it at this point. First thing you gotta do is get that out of the tire. And uh, as you can see, it's a, it looks like an old self-tapper. It's got uh, a few miles on it, so it was uh, in there for a while before the tire actually started going down. And a tire plug kit, you know, really contains just a few, you know, it contains a a hook to actually put the plug in, a reamer to get the hole a little bigger, you know, a little bit of, you know, some will include some rubber cement with them, you know, if you want rubber cement that keeps that plug from popping in and out. Not 100% necessary if you just need to get it plugged to get, you know, off the road. Those are the kind of things you're going to need. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you ream out that hole where the puncture was mainly because that hole is so, you know, if it's just a nail, it'll, it'll want to try to seal itself up, but there's not enough room in there to actually drive a new plug in there. So you want to uh, grab your reamer and actually work it in and out. You want to work it good because you want to get a good hole in there for the plug. And it seems kind of aggressive, but it, it's what you got to do to actually create a, a bigger hole in there. Next, what we're going to use is, it's almost like a needle kind of thing. It what will actually thread now into this hole to end with the plug on it to uh, actually fill the void that we have there. And tire plugs come, there's these are black or these are the tans. Um, they're all, you know, I've never found a, a big difference between uh, the color of plug. And you kind of fish this thing through here. Then for a little, you know, what also helps a little bit, it works to um, lubricate the way in as well as seal it. Once it's done, you put a little uh, rubber cement on this plug. And really got to work this in. And if it if it's going too hard, you know, don't be afraid to stop. Ream your hole out a little bit more. So now you can see we've got the plug uh, into the tire. We've got the sealant on it. We've got the plug in place. And now we can go ahead and reinflate the tire. It'll hold us air and get us back to, you know, get us home or get us to a shop where we can get it, you know, properly patched then.